Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how I approach doing puzzles like this one that I won in Las Vegas! I guess the story of how I got this puzzle would not be complete without some of my friends who contributed tickets towards getting this particular prize. So instead of gambling away my money, I decided to spend it on this arcade in Excalibur. And there was this one game where you basically slam your hand down when you think that this little spinner is on the amount of tickets that you want, and the highest number was 500. I suddenly hit it and I got the 500, and that's probably why I got this puzzle. Also, all of this happened in like June, so it's been months of me waiting to get to Boston to open this puzzle. Anyway, I'm gonna stop hugging this puzzle and get around to opening it. For some reason, the back part of my puzzle has a better photo of what the puzzle is supposed to look like as opposed to the top, so I've dumped all my pieces into the top part. So the first step in doing any puzzle is to go through all your pieces and get out the side pieces and the corner pieces and put those together to get the edges of your puzzle. I get really irritated at people who don't do this step first because I think it's really stupid when people try to connect side pieces to non-side pieces because it's like logically impossible for those two pieces to fit. Even if they're the same color, they're not gonna just go next to each other. Also, while you're going through your pieces, you might as well sort out by color so that you group together the pieces that you know are going to end up fitting together later on. Ta-da! Here's all my side pieces and corner pieces, and it's probably inevitably not all of them. And then I tried to sort by color um, with the rest of the pieces. Since I don't really have little containers to hold my pieces, I kind of just put them on the ground and I'm praying that they don't end up disappearing. I used to rule. Hey, for the first time ever, I actually got all the side pieces in one go. I also moved my colored piles to the side so that I can take a better time lapse because I kind of failed on the time lapse for making this border. But yeah, it's so pretty, I can't wait to finish it. I'm going to exercise some self-control and not work on this all night because I have my first day of work tomorrow. <laughs> It's been a day and I still haven't done anything. It was my first day of work though. As you can see, I have scrubs on the floor along with my signature socks. So when you're thinking about what color to start with, you probably want to go with the ones that have not as many pieces because it's more likely that you'll be able to fit all of them together. Hello and welcome back to day two, three of me doing this puzzle. I'm showing like a lot of restraint here, so it's actually not done yet. Oh, that's good. You, you guys are tight. Sweep the streets I used to know. and it broke one of the pieces and that's why this is almost complete as you can see this piece died and I have no idea where the other piece or the other part of this piece is so um, I guess I'll find it someday maybe it's really weird. I've looked all around for it, like under these things, and I have not seen it. So, rip. Are there grooves in your lap too? Yeah, or, yeah beside yeah. the cell phone. Yeah. My socks are on the floor. So I started doing this thing where I was trying to figure out the frequency of hitting the 500. So I start swaying. 